before I receive our offering. And I want to tell you, uh, keep praying for all the sick, the afflicted, and uh, keep them on the prayer list. And we, uh, I know you will. And someone said, oh, we're going to have prayer for them all. I prayed before I came to church, did you? Where are you waiting for me to call prayer? Amen. I'm not going to call prayer. So if you didn't pray before you came to church, you'll, you'll find somewhere to pray. Because we get in a rut. We get in a routine. But I think the time to pray is before we get here. Yes. Not before, after we get here. And in, in five minutes, we say, Lord, would you please bless us, and will you bless thou, and bless thee, and will you remember them, and remember uh, and, and And that's only part of the congregation. Um, that's a form. That's a routine. I think we should pray before we get here. I think we should have prayer before we come. Oh, Lord, help us. Oh, Lord, heal the sick. Oh, Lord, take the cancers out of our midst. Oh, Lord, deliver us from sin. Hallelujah. Brother Taylor, I believe we ought to pray before we get here. Amen. And if you're too rushed to pray before you, don't shake hands with anybody until you hit the altar and hit your knees first Amen. and have prayer before you start. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. I want to welcome James Roller. James, hold up your hand. This young man, this young man. Everybody welcome James Roller. He's from Fort Myers, Florida, but he's a Texan. And uh, I, he's married to one of the best friends ever, his daughter, the, the, uh, the daughter, he's married to the daughter, the youngest daughter, of uh, one of the best friends I ever had in the ministry, Brother Don Patton. And he married Stephanie. And Stephanie I was a wonderful young lady, and is a wonderful young lady. And uh, I had barrels of fun with Stephanie when she was growing up. And I was visiting the Fort Worth, Texas church year after year, and preaching there, having those great meetings in Fort Worth. And uh, Brother Don was pastoring around 500 people or so in Fort Worth at that time. And this young man, 29, did you say, James? 29 years ago, married Stephanie. And they're living in Fort Myers, Florida. Think of that. Wow. We welcome him to Bradenton tonight. And we're honored to have him. James, feel like you're at home. Feel welcome. And you're, you're really part family. We love the Patton family. And uh, Brother Don was a dear friend of mine in the ministry. And I loved him, and we're happy, happy to have you. He attends the uh, First Assembly there in Fort Myers, and um, we're glad to have them. Uh, his pastor, Brother Don Betzer, and we're very happy to have James with us. And I told him about the new mission we started in Punta Gorda. That's only 24 miles from Fort Myers. Uh, I've driven it many times. And Sister Teresa, see that he gets the address of where that is. It's on Sullivan Street in downtown Panagora because we'd love to have James. And I told him to get Stephanie and come up to Sister Marlowe and call us ahead of time. We want to have dinner with them. And because we love we love this family. Yeah. We love them. And they're part of us. Brother James, I hope you feel at home tonight in Brady. This is not strange to you. This kind of preaching is not strange to you. This worship is not strange to you. You are very much a part of it. And uh, we want to welcome you. And then I want to make welcome. The assembly is growing. Uh, people are coming in. Uh, and uh, glad to see Sister Albritton back home with us from Tennessee. And uh, Sister Jewel, God bless you. Glad to have you back home with us. And then uh, Sister Christian, who stepped out temporarily uh, over there. Oh, no, she's in the back. She was down here. She's moved back there. Uh, uh, don't backslide back there. Uh, but, you know, we're, we're glad to have Christian. She just moved to the resort. And then, this lovely lady here, our sister Linda, stand up uh, right here. She has been added to our church in the last few days. And we're very happy to have her. And we're thankful for this good sister, our sister in God. God brought these people here because no one comes here by accident, and there's more coming. Praise the name of the Lord. There's more coming. 
So we've got a lot to praise him for. And everybody said, praise the Lord. That moves me toward my offering. Praise the name of the Lord, sanctified, set apart, written out. And I'm going to add a little bit to it because I got so inspired and was talking about giving. And so I'm going to add something to this. I want to say just as brief, but I won't say a lot tonight. I'll say more later. If anyone in our dear assembly, our faithful assembly, has any question about where funds go in this assembly and how they're used and what they're used for, please sit down with me, the elders of the church, and we'll tell you all the places that it goes to, to help God's people. Uh, don't be afraid to give. Don't, don't sit back and say, well, I would give, but they're going to use my money to buy some Cheerios with or something like that. Uh, just, just remember, now here's a man that stood here 52 years, probably received a couple of million dollars in offering since I've been here these 52 years. And the proof of the pudding is in eating tonight. Uh, look around and see what you have to worship in. Look around and see uh, where people are taken care of. Uh, don't, don't, don't be grumbling, griping about something uh, when God just saying, give and give and I'll bless you. Praise the name of the Lord. So I'm, I'm very happy that I can receive this offering and I want you to uh, give as God has given to you and uh, God will bless you immeasurably over and over again. And everybody is said, praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen, amen. Brethren, come and receive our offering. Our saints will give their giving. They, they